So from a conceptual standpoint, the idea of compound interest is actually very simple. It's just earning interest upon interest. Most people get that. And yet I find most people don't fully appreciate how powerful this idea is. In fact, I feel that there's a whole philosophy of life that is embedded in this idea. In other words, if you understand compounding of interest, I feel it can have a huge impact on the overall quality of your life, not just the financial aspect, but the overall quality of your life. Now you may turn around and say, look, Adif, are you saying the secret of life is compound interest? And I am inclined to say, yes, I, I feel it is. Let me try and explain this. So let's first consider the example of two friends, John and Patrick. Both John and Patrick, good friends, went to the same university, both graduated when they were 24 years old, and now John says to Patrick, you know what, John, I'm going to retire at the age of 70, and so the way I'm going to save for my retirement is that I'm going to start putting away $50 every month till I retire into this investment account that pays 7% APR, or an annual rate. Now what I'm showing you here is how much John will have at different points of his life if he pursues this investment strategy. So specifically, two years into this investment, every month of $50, which means that by that time John will be 26 years old, he will have in this investment account $1,284. I have this formula over here, it's correct. Basically, basically it's showing you how much will be the future value of these $50 if they are invested every month in this investment account. And so if you keep on continuing with this exercise, what this shows you is that by the time John is 70, he will have about $204,000 in this investment account. Okay, now Patrick, is uh, like, man, I don't want to start saving immediately. I just graduated. I want to live a little. I, I've just got a job. I want to buy a fancy car. I want to spend some money, you know, eating out. I'll make up for it, though. So I am going to start investing late, 10 years later, at the age of 34. Uh, you know, I still have 36 years before I retire. That's a huge number of years. The way I'm going to make up for this quote-unquote lost time is that I'm going to contribute twice as much as you are, John. You're saving $50 every month. I'm going to start 10 years later, but I'm going to invest twice as much. And so over here, I'm showing you how that will work out for Patrick. Two years into it, Patrick will have $2,568 in this investment account. It's the same investment account which pays 7%. If you continue with this exercise, you'll be surprised to learn that at the age of 70, Patrick will have $194,000 approximately, which is still less than how much John has in the same investment account at the age of 70. Specifically, John has about $10,000 more than Patrick does. This is crazy, right? Because Patrick just had a 10 year late start, he still had 36 more years to go, and he was contributing twice as much as what John was. And yet we find that John will have more money at the time of retirement than Patrick. Patrick only has 194,000. John has about 203 or 204,000, and that's the point. That is the power of compounding. The power of compounding is in the case of this example is reflected by this idea that John started saving earlier and this money that he put earlier on that ended up growing for a longer period of time it was small but it was persistent that's the power of compounding and so that the lesson that emerges is this persistent investments made over a long period of time can yield huge payoffs look the key here is that the investments need to be persistent and over a long period of time they don't need to be big 
in the case of John and Patrick, John's investments were smaller compared to Patrick's, $50 compared to $100, and yet John came out ahead because he was investing regularly for a longer period of time. So the investments don't need to be big, they just need to be persistent. And the financial implication, therefore, of this is that especially if you're a student who's young, like 18, 20 years old, and you're like, man, I'll start saving when I get a job, I'm saying, no, don't do that. Start today. Start investing today. I don't care if you start out with just $5. Just do it regularly. Just do $5 per month regularly. It's something first of all and secondly the sooner you start the greater will be the compounding effect of all this wealth that you are putting in one app that you can use to help that is called acorns acorns is an app that allows you to invest the change that you get uh, from purchasing any merchandise uh, into an investment account which seems petty you're thinking uh, do I really want to put like 50 cents or 7 cents, sometimes even 3 or 1 cent into an investment account? And what I'm telling you is, yes, you do. It's small, but it's regular. You go to store regularly. You get change regularly. If you invest that change regularly, you're starting small, but you are doing it regularly over a long period of time. Do it. Do it because that impact will be compounded. Now, you might be wondering what is all of this got to do with life philosophy? Well, everything. Because if you really understand compounding, then the essence of compounding is make small investments over a long period of time. This doesn't just have to do with money. The life implication is make persistent investments in yourself, in yourself over a long period of time. You know, we have this idea of what kind of person we want to be in the future. If you want to become an author, if you want to become healthier, what we tend to do is that we focus on that one thing and we take drastic steps like, oh, I'll try to read like five books in one month or write 10 pages in one hour. Don't do that. Rather, make persistent investments in yourself over a long period of time. So if you want to become a writer or read more books, read one page or write one page. It's a small investment, doesn't seem like much, but if you do it every day, it will have a compounding effect. If you want to become healthier, exercise. Do it for two minutes. It's a small investment, five push-ups. You know, two pull-ups. It's a small action. It's a small investment, but take my word for it. If you do it every day, it will compound. These investments don't need to be big. They just need to be persistent because what happens is, is that these small actions, when done every day, they become habits. And it is habits that have a transformational impact on your life. So take an example for this, uh, take an example of this book, for example, by James Clear. It's called Atomic Habits. Take a look at what he says. He said, look, habits are the compound interest of self-development. Take a look at this word, compound interest of self-development. What does that mean? The same way that money multiplies through compound interest, the effects of your habits multiply as you repeat them. They seem to make little difference on any given day. They seem rather small on any given day. And yet, if you keep on doing them repeatedly over a long period of time, they develop into habits. This goes just as well for good habits as they do for bad habits, right? And so take a look at another book, The Compound Effects. This is a very, very good book uh, by Darren Hardy. He makes the same point, the compounding effect, which is basically this. Small, seemingly insignificant steps 
completed consistently over time can make a radical difference. And so this can be illustrated sort of graphically as well. You make small, smart choices. In the beginning, these choices just translate into some behavior, have no impact seemingly, but as you keep on doing them and doing them, they become habits, and then they can have this huge impact either for the good or for the bad, depending on what kind of small action it is that we are doing on a daily basis. Now, you might say, well, books are dime a dozen. People say all sorts of different things. I don't, I don't trust what these guys have to say. Well, then you might want to listen to this guy. Everybody knows this guy, right? Look at what he has to say. Chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. Well, this just about sums up all of this. Habits are formed with small, repetitive persistent actions and the life philosophy therefore is that make one tiny investment in yourself today start today want to become healthier start today want to write a book start today want to read a book start today and make one small tiny investment read one paragraph write one sentence exercise for two minutes just keep on doing it and it will transform your life. That's compound interest and the philosophy of life.